Hey everyone, this is Angel for Abix Gaming with a brand new video for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For more guides and walkthroughs of the game, please check the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. In this video, we'll give you a quick walkthrough of the Yoisin Shrine in Hyrule. There are times in the description of the video and YouTube player as well, in case you want to jump to any part of this guide in particular. For this shrine, we'll need to rotate two sculptures to get them through different cutouts in the walls so they can get us to the very end of the shrine. The first one will be to your left, upon entering the shrine, and it's a large sculpture. Face it by the side so you can see an X in front of you, grab it with the ultra hand, and pass it through the hole to get it to the main hall. Once there, use it as a bridge to cross to the next section. For the second wall cutout, we have a weird two-fused cube sculpture to rotate. The key here is to rotate it in a way that the bottom left cube is the one the farthest from you and the upper right one the closest. This way it will fit in the gap. Now it's just a matter of sliding it to the far end of the hole so it can fit and Link can use it to reach the treasure chest. Time for the final wall cutout. I need you to have a little bit of patience with this one as it may take several attempts to get the shape in the right direction. What we are looking for is for the two cube shape to become a two rhombus shape. This means the sculpture should be standing still with the corners being the point of contact with the ground. It doesn't matter which of the rhombuses is facing you as long as both show as a rhombus instead of a cube. When you got it like this, it's time to pass it through the wall. Pass a rhombus at the back through the cutout at the top. As you see it get to the other side, then slide the sculpture to the side so the rhombus at the front can now fit. Finally, slide the sculpture towards the pillars, do a simple rotation, and it'll pave the way to reach the end of the shrine. Be sure to check out more Tears of the Kingdom videos that I will be uploading to these playlists right here as a progress for the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.